another video, mean and transmission. Two locations, one in Will Grove, one in Lansdale. This is a uh, 480E transmission. Uh, vehicle came in with a no reverse condition. Um, when we got it apart, it's pretty obvious. 190,000 mile box truck uh, owned by an antique and interior uh, company. So got it apart. Here's uh, what we saw in the pan. Okay. Here's uh, top of the valve body fluid that was in. It was pretty dark. You can see actually that the clutch components are starting to uh, delaminate, come apart here. You can see clutches are popping apart right there as well. You know, so um, right there, you can see. And uh, here it's pretty obvious we had some slippage that was happening. You can see the cheetah spots on the clutch steels. Um, here's uh, the manifold pressure switch, a lot of contamination present there. Uh, in addition, you know, we can see the pump itself, the pump is compromised. Uh, you know, very, very important to have a good surface finish on the pump assembly. Uh, otherwise, you lose pump efficiency and you can wind up with slippage conditions, perhaps a contributing factor to the clutches slipping the way they were. Uh, in addition, this uh, came and had a, uh, a broken uh, component for reverse, and uh, so the reverse application process was not taking place correctly. Nine times out of ten, it breaks the uh, reverse band. So here's an upgraded component we're going to be able to install. Um, <clears throat> so this transmission is going to need to be rebuilt. Uh, put a high temp ring kit in it as well from Transco. Also do a Transco recalibration update package. Um, <clears throat> these transmissions uh, are pretty solid transmission. Uh, this one, you know, fortunately the gear train's okay. Very prone for damaging this uh, drum and wearing out the inner bore of the drum. Uh, also, a uh, <clears throat> you know the uh, the center sport is very very prone for uh, problems, uh, but this one uh, actually doesn't look bad considering 190,000 miles. Going to want to replace the electronics. You can see here's the EPC solenoid. All the metal goes right to the solenoid, so solenoids are a critical part of the uh, rebuilding process. Um, should be able to rebuild this, even with the fact that we need to buy a pump, be able to save money compared to a remanufactured Jasper or General Motors transmission, and also build the transmission that to make it more appropriate for a commercial and heavy-duty application.